what's going on guys so in this box right here is another used xbox one from gamestop so this is actually the third xbox one i bought from gamestop used uh, it's actually a different xbox it's a forza limited edition console as you can see it's just a pretty standard brown box i took off the label and shipping label that kind of stuff so let's go ahead and open it up and i know you guys are probably wondering why i keep buying used xbox ones from gamestop and it's a few reasons first of all uh, there's a lot of different Xbox Ones out there. There's, there's so many limited editions, special editions. There's the Xbox One regular edition, Xbox One S, Xbox One X. They're all over the place. And I also have a video coming soon where I need multiple Xbox Ones and you guys will see that in due time. But let's go ahead and open this thing up. As we can see, you got a little packing slip here. All right, so as you can see on the packing slip, it's the Xbox One Forza Motorsport 6, one terabyte edition. I'm not sure if I mentioned earlier that this is a Forza edition but it is and it cost 190 bucks which is pretty expensive uh, but it is a limited edition and let's hope it works so let's go ahead and dig into this thing we got oh, we actually got pretty solid packaging not gonna lie we got a lot of brown paper around the edge um, not really much wiggle room for this for this box to move around which is good you know usually GameStop would throw in like one little tiny piece of paper down here and that's all they would put in there so there wouldn't be much protection, but this thing is actually protected pretty well. Now if we give this box the tilt test, we can kind of see if it's rattling around. It slides around a little bit, but to be honest, it's not too bad compared to some of the other Xbox Ones I've bought. They were kind of just rattling around in the box. This one doesn't seem too bad so far. But let's see what we got on the front here. So, just kind of a picture of the Xbox One. As always, comes with a console, controller, HDMI cable, and AC cable. And on the side, it's telling you, congratulations, you didn't save much money, but you bought a pre-owned console. Now let's go ahead and slice this thing open with my knife, being careful. And hopefully, this thing is intact. I guess we'll see. All right, so inside, there's more brown paper. That's kind of weird, but okay. Sure, why not? Toss that to the side, and as you guys probably know, on the original Xbox, you actually had an external power supply, which is unfortunate, um, but that's just what it is. And we also got a HDMI cable, as you can see, and we got a controller. At first glance, actually looks like pretty decent condition. Let's kind of take a closer look at it. So as we can see, it's kind of, it's got a little bit of wear, but honestly, it's not too bad. It's got some dust on it that I can wipe off pretty easily, uh, but the controller looks to be in pretty good condition probably better condition than the other controllers I've seen and it's even got batteries how nice and then down here at the bottom is what we all came to see the actual Forza console now this thing from pictures I've seen is a pretty nice looking console as you can see it's nice it's nice blue I'm not really sure what kind of blue they call this so if we zoom in on the sticker I found on the bottom it looks like this console actually came from another place called the exchange I guess I mean maybe that's not what it's called but it looks like it came from a different store originally and it was 180 bucks and here on the side looks fine don't see anything crazy let's take a look at the back looks like we still got the warranty sticker intact so it hasn't been opened i guess and everything looks fine and so now i'm going to take this console over to the tv and we're going to see if it works all right guys so here we are got it plugged in and everything and one thing i forgot to mention earlier or i guess i didn't even really notice it is that this is just a regular black xbox one controller it's not actually the special edition blue controller that's supposed to come with this uh, which is kind of where GameStop gets you with these limited edition consoles. Sometimes they'll include the the correct uh, controller, sometimes they don't, which is unfortunate. Um, but I guess it's just something you have to accept with GameStop. But let's go ahead and turn this thing on and let's hope it works. Ooh, that sounds pretty nice. I'm not sure if you guys could hear that on the camera very well or not, uh, but it's basically a car revving sound when it when it starts up, which is pretty sweet. And then there's no disc in there, unfortunately. I was hoping somebody left me a free disc. So now we're starting up. I'm really hoping it doesn't make me do a bunch of setup stuff because usually it does and it takes forever. And one other thing I just noticed on this console is it actually says start and it says stop, which is pretty cool. Kind of like a push to start button on a car. And all right guys, so it finally connected. Let's go ahead and connect the controller, English, blah, blah, blah. And I'll let you guys know when I'm done with the setup. Alright guys, so we're all set it up and everything, and fortunately I did not have to update this thing. I guess it was already on the latest version. I guess somebody else had this recently and updated it. Because uh, usually I put in my wireless network info and then it tells me I have to update it and it takes like an hour. Um, so that was nice. And we're basically booted up now, and I kind of want to hear 
this sound again. So let's try. And, let's do the. Let's do the stop button now. So it kind of sounds like I don't know if that's a slowing down sound or kind of a car whizzing by. Let's do the startup sound again. Yes, yeah, so the startup sound is definitely like turning on a car, which is pretty dope. So yeah, as you can see, everything looks like it's working so far. And of course, the first thing they advertise is Fortnite here. Um, but let's go ahead and put a game in and see if it works. So I got Red Dead Redemption 2 here. I'm hoping this thing works and it's not like got some kind of bug with the uh, disk drive because I'm not done playing this game yet. And I really don't want it to be messed up. So it seems to have accepted it properly. Now let's see what it does on the screen. It should pop up pretty quickly, I would think. Yep, there it is. So it looks like it's working. All right, guys. So as usual, I had to actually um, install, and for some reason, it just started updating Madden 20 before it did Red Dead Redemption, which is kind of weird. Um, but let's go ahead and check that out because I'm kind of interested. Something weird is going on now. So I forgot, guys. We actually have to install this thing first, and for some reason, it just put it in the queue. Um, some reason, it's updating Madden 20 before, and to be honest, I'm not sure. What's going on here because it says I have all these games installed but I don't even have GTA 5 for the Xbox or The Walking Dead or like any of these so I'm gonna try that out because I'm not sure what's going on here okay that's odd maybe whoever had this game last or whoever had this console last installed GTA 5 and somehow it got mixed up in my account which is really weird because it seemed like this console was completely reset um, but yeah something something sketchy is going on there because I've never even played GTA 5 on the Xbox One or Apex Legends or The Walking Dead. So yeah, something sketchy is going on here, guys. Um, if you think you know what's going on, let me know because it's kind of weird. All right, guys, so let's see if it makes a sound when I eject the disc. I think it might. Ooh, so it gives me like a little rev. That was pretty cool. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, fortunately, we had a successful GameStop unboxing here. If you've seen some of my other GameStop unboxings, um, unfortunately, it doesn't always go too well. But this one went well, and I'll put some links down in the description to some of my other GameStop unboxing videos. So before we go, let's, uh, let's listen to this sound one more time. Nyeom.